Hello everyone. So I have a cumulative Dollar Tree haul to show you. So um, please excuse the rustling of the shopping bags here, but let me go ahead and get started. So um, this is probably maybe a month's worth of stuff from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take everything out of the bags and then explain them. Okay, so I picked up this uh, Rub-On Transfers. This is um, from obviously the craft section and these work really great in planners and in journals and I've already used this in my Hobonichi and I really like um, using it because you know the Hobonichi paper is really thin but it's super smooth and it's just great to write on so I picked this up to use that on my pages. Um, I got this uh, fabric right here, this uh, craft fabric, because I want to use it for my nieces. Um, maybe I'm going to make a, like, bedding for their Barbie doll, you know, beds. So I thought that would be really cute because I have one niece that loves rainbows. I don't know. Actually, she liked them like three, four years ago, but I'm not sure if she's that big into rainbows still. Um, I picked up some of these pens. The, uh, gem pens I'm sure people have been seeing these like on Instagram and stuff they're um, actually I like these better than the old style that they carry the one that had that little rubber cover this one is a twisty um, as you can see so and I only picked up these colors I think there was a blue but I didn't really care for it so I got those I'm I'm only picking them up because I could probably put these with um, some of the traveler's notebooks that I made that I want to I'm probably gonna sell once the pandemic is over and the craft fairs start up again so I got this these long wooden um, dowels now they usually have the short ones which I will show you because I did pick some more of those up too they're in one of the bags but these are really great because they're long and I probably will go back tomorrow to the Dollar Tree that's near uh, my clinic and pick up another set because I'm going to be making a mandala with some yarn which I also picked up from the Dollar Tree so I wanted to see if I could do that with the Dollar Tree yarn which I will get to in a second so I got these hydrangea because I love the color these are like a I wouldn't say mint green, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's just a beautiful, light, very pale pastel green. And um, I don't know, I might just go ahead and put it in a vase and then stick it on my desk at work because I'm gonna be moving into a different office. So yeah, just to liven it up, you know? So I'm gonna put that on the floor here. So got another bag. These I picked up, I know, a few weeks ago because I have not seen them at any other Dollar Tree and I used to so actually I've bought these before but before Dollar Tree was selling them just individual packs for a dollar now they're selling the um, BFF packs so you're actually getting two for a dollar right and I was I had bought a bunch of them because I'd seen somebody talk about them um, on Instagram and I thought they were such a cute idea so I bought a bunch of them from Dollar Tree and gave them to my nieces and they just love them. And then when I was at Walmart last summer, they actually had them in the um, in the Chinese takeout box. Um, and they were, I think, four in a box maybe, or five. And I got those on clearance for like maybe $2, I think, at the time. And I made sure to buy like um, at least, I think I bought four so that I could gift, you know, gift them away um, during Christmas. And so, um, I did that and, you know, I'd already been giving them like these individual sets and then when I gave them the other ones they went crazy, totally crazy because um, they didn't get doubles like they did when I have given them several of the individual ones. But these sets, the uh, BFF, they are supposed to come with like coordinating bracelets. So if you don't know what these are, they're just um, little like you can hang them off a backpack or your purse, you know, um, it's made out of plastic and you just break it open, but you can always put it back together. And inside is supposed to be a bracelet. So I don't know if you can see here in this picture, there's a bracelet in there and they're all different designs. They're just so stinking cute. And um, 
one of my nieces, she was so crazy over them because actually I gave it to her on her birthday and she like, she probably had like maybe six of these, six sets and she put them all on her backpack and then uh, I guess all her you know classmates were like, oh my God, where did you get that? So yeah, so I'm probably gonna, if they show up again at Dollar Tree, I'm gonna pick up some more and then just gift it to them again. Um, I got a, a, you know, a set of these thinking I can use them in my closet. And sadly enough, um, it's a little bulky. I don't know if it's because of the kind of hangers that I'm using, because I have like those velour hangers, but they're really thin, I don't know. I was in a hurry to try to use these, so I might try again and see if it'll work in my closet. Um, and so here's some of the yarn that I got. Sadly enough, I only picked up these two, I don't know. I was thinking, oh, I don't need any more yarn, so that's why I only got these two. Um, these are the flower, the Just Yarn flowers. Um, I know they had other colors, but I only like these two. Um, so yeah, I only got just one each, and I should have got more. So, let's see. Um, there's another bag, like I said. I stupidly picked up more of these because, and I don't know why, I don't really need this many. I might just give them to my mom or um, give them to my sister and see if she can use them for my niece's closets. I don't know. That was really dumb. I don't need like freaking five sets of that. Um, and then of course, oh, so I did get one of the blue. I got another... Oops, stupid bag okay I did get one blue <laughs> and I got another purple and there is another rose gold but I actually am using that um, I just don't have it here so I'm gonna stick these here uh, there's another bag see I've been saving all this stuff so that I could finally do one big video you know haul video so and then I can finally start putting this stuff away and still leaving them in bags as we all do so I did pick up some more of the hydrangea. Um, this was at another Dollar Tree, and they only had these two. So, and then they had one purple. I thought I had another purple. I don't know where it is. So I did pick that up. So now I have a whole bouquet of it, as you can see. Okay, let's put that to the side. Um, I purchased this. Now I have like several of these because the Traveler's Notebooks, the laminated ones that I make, I um, had bought a bunch of the black ones like this because they fit perfectly in there and it's a really good bag to use as a planner bag, you know? And um, I mean, I wasn't gonna charge extra for it, only a dollar, you know? But I saw this because of the fact that it was like, you know, it's that prismatic kind of hollow, um, holographic look. And so I thought, okay, well, I'll go ahead and just get one. So I got that. Um, see here are the oops, shorter dowel sticks, okay? Um, these I'm actually gonna use to make a doll table, a Barbie doll table. And I just realized I don't have the, um, there's some like wooden plaques, I guess, or I forgot what you call them, but I think they're in my room, my other room. So I was gonna glue those. I got some of these, and I know I have more, but I don't know where I put them. They're probably already put away. So these are stickers for planners or whatnot. Picked this up a while ago. This is the Aroma Diffuser, okay? Um, I'm gonna use this at work for when it smells. Um, I got a spray bottle to use at work. I'm gonna fill up with, um, what do you call it? With rubbing alcohol. Um, and in this bag, and I'm not gonna pull them all out because they're gonna stay in the bag, I picked up the um, candy, the Valentine candy when it was 25 cents um, clearance after Valentine's. Obviously, we could not really celebrate Valentine's because that was when we had Snowpocalypse. So they had so much of the Valentine's stuff that they never really got to sell and um, they just had to get rid of it really fast. So, got that. Um, I have another bag here. 
so, oh, and here's another sticker. Got, I don't know if you can see that with the glare. Got this one. So I have a bag here full of books. Um, and yet again, hold on. Whoa, I don't know what that was. Okay, here we go. These I got for my nephew because I'm always buying stuff for his sisters and I need to get him stuff too. So I got him some um, like comic book graphic novels. This one's Kung Fu Panda. Actually, I'm giving this one over to my niece, his sister, because I think she has seen Star Wars. Um, I got this one, Batman, Superman, the cars, this uh, comic book on the penguins from Madagascar. So I, he's in first grade and these are second grade, but hey, you know, he can go ahead and start trying to read these. Um, I might give those to him during summer vacation so he's got something to read. Uh, let's see, let me clean up here really quick. Okay, next bag. Oh, that's candy. Okay. So, so I've got two of, where is it? I saw these on Instagram and I was surprised that Dollar Tree had them. They're the Papero. They're, they're just like um, Pocky from Japan, but this is obviously Korea's version of it by Lot or Latte. I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. So, um, used before okay so it expires this year but in November so yeah got two of these to try I um, picked up two of these these are the decorative mesh because I was trying to figure out how I was going to cover um, those wreaths those wire wreaths um, the frames that I bought and I'd seen somebody use cloth, but I didn't want to. Use, I didn't want to have to cut something up to do it like actual cloth. So I figured I might use this to cover it up so that I can glue stuff onto the wreath. But I don't know. We'll see. Otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and just return this. So, um, and then I did pick up yarn because this is the yarn that I'm going to use to make the mandala with those larger dowel sticks. Um, it's the cotton one, okay, uh, just cotton, and these are the colors that I got. So, nothing really fancy. I wanted to try the cotton one rather than the acrylic and, um, what is it? The acrylic and the worsted is what they call it, version. And then... Show you what I got I did get today when I dropped by. I mean there's like six dollar trees within a five mile, ten mile radius of me. So and there's like one, two, three, four. Four, well five actually, that I can pretty much go to within like 20 minutes, you know, 15, 10 to 15 minutes from my house. Okay, so I picked up these two pairs of socks. They're from Snugadoo. Um, they are I don't normally buy these type of socks, the um, ankle type, but they were just too cute. And the funny thing is after the big storms that we had yesterday, the weather has now gone from like 82 degrees to like, I think tonight the low is 37. And the high today was like 54 maybe, and it was freezing, which I don't mind because the longer we can put off the hot weather, weather the better, because I hate hot weather. So um, I can use these in the house. They're just, they're really cute. And I like the colors. They did have other styles, but I liked the sheep. And this one was a unicorn. <laughs> so the other pair of socks that I got, whoa, I don't even know where that came from. Okay, so the other pair of socks, which is hilarious because I plan on posting about this on Facebook in the Star Trek group was that they had Star Trek socks. Now I didn't pick up Captain Kirk because I'm, eh, I don't really care for him, but I do like Picard and I mean, come on, 
you got to have Spock socks. You know, I am a big Trekkie fan. Um, not that big of a Star Wars fan. Not that I, I don't hate Star Wars. I'm just not that big of a fan. Um, so pick these two up because I just thought they'd be hilarious. And I can use these in the winter when I wear my boots. Okay. So now here's the, this is what stopped me when I was looking in the bag because I don't know where this came from. I did not purchase this and I know she didn't ring this up. It must have been in the bag when she was putting my stuff in there. Mixed nuts. It's just kind of weird. So I guess I got free nuts. Okay. So I picked up more books. Now, there is one book that's missing because I already started reading it and I'm already halfway done. Yeah, I bought the book today, but a couple hours ago and I'm already halfway done. So, um... I got this book right here because I'm going to gift it to a friend of mine. It's called Mir Miracle in the Mundane. Poems, prompts, and inspiration to unlock your creativity and unfiltered joy. Um, if I don't give it to her, this is a really good book size for a junk journal, you know, to cut up and stuff. And then I also got this one. It was the only one that they had. It's called Pure Skin, Discover the Japanese Ritual of Glowing. I thought this was kind of interesting, and um, yeah, I, uh, I mean, it's only a dollar, you know? And it's like, if I don't really, after I read it, if I don't want to keep it, I'm just going to donate it to the library um, for their book sale, their annual book sale. So, yeah. So I got that, and then I did pick up, because they're back, I got these again, but they're in a different uh, pattern, or color so these are those um baskets of so storage bins now they had let me grab one here they had these before these are the black and white ones okay the grid ones but those sold out really fast and these are selling out really fast i actually was there when they were putting them up so i was able to grab a bunch of them so it's in this like heather gray heather kind of a color okay and then you've got the um beige i don't know what you want to call it um color so i picked up let's see how many did i pick up because i'm planning on sending some of them to a certain friend um so that's two four six eight so i picked up eight of these since i don't think she was able to find them at her dollar tree in san francisco and um no, it's not Karamia's Corner. She don't live in San Francisco, but she is in the Bay Area. This is the biggest um, find. I found this today, and <laughs> it's funny because as, as, when I saw it, I immediately was like, oh my God, they've got the Justice League, you know, art book. And I was so excited. I put it in my cart. They had two of them, but the other one was already open, and there was a rip on the cover. And so I was able to kind of like, you know, thumb through the book. And I was thinking of giving this to my brother for his birthday. So I might hold out and uh, he hasn't watched my video, so he's not gonna know. So yeah, this is like heavy. I mean, super heavy. And um, fortunately, this is the Joss Whedon version of um, Justice League, not the um, Schneider version. So, but it doesn't matter, who cares? It's Justice League. I'm a big DC fan, as my brother is too. We plan on watching Justice League um, on HBO Max this weekend. So yeah, we're going to veg out for four hours watching. But anyways, yeah, so this was my biggest find. Um, if I come across another one, I might get it. But I mean, like, look at that. It's, this is hardcover heavy like really premium paper, okay? So, yeah, this is my haul. I'll just leave it there and I wonder who's messaging me, Clarissa. Okay, so I hope everybody's had a good week and I hope you have a good weekend, all right? Bye.